So hey guys, this is Vishnu and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can delete a file using Python. So generally, I use the OS module to do it and I think there are some uh, one or two more modules using which you can achieve this also. But my personal favorite is the OS module. Uh, it is actually pretty simple. So let me turn on my Jupyter notebook. Okay, so it's already on. So uh, before I go on, I will show you currently where uh, I am. I mean, which is my working directory. So I guess I have closed everything. So generally I am working inside this place. So how you can verify it? You can use PWD. Okay, it says I am inside C users. Uh, desktop daily dose python and python basics which is this directory and we can also list down the file names which is this so yep we have actually here it is showing four but here it is showing three because like this is like a special i dot py pynb checkpoints it's like a special folder which with a notebook completely like ignores so now uh, what we can do over here uh, let's create a file so uh, you can like if you have configured your git bash you can use uh, touch even if you are working on linux this will also work maybe student.csv and if you press and enter student.csv got created but it won't work if you have not configured git uh, uh, bash on your system so in that case, I'll delete this. In that case, just come over here, create, go to new and go to text file. Okay, just create a file. Maybe student dot, maybe uh, student dot CSV. Yep. So this file got created. Now uh, I want to delete this file student dot CSV using Python. So I'll go uh, import OS module. I'll do OS dot remove then i'll give the file name which is student dot csv uh, it should be a, as a string passed to this function now if i do shift enter uh, that file got deleted okay so it's pretty straightforward i guess now uh, for example if you have a file inside another folder so your working directory is this but that file is present inside a database. Okay, let's create a file over here. Maybe a file.txt. So now how we can delete that file, I mean this uh, file in this particular directory. So one way is to, we can do this, remove uh, student, I mean database. Since we know it is inside our database folder, we are this is a working directory and we know that this file is inside our database folder so we can do database slash csv csv okay i mean not csv what i am doing it's file.txt and if i do shift enter this file gets deleted okay so pretty straightforward now another case let's assume that this file is present one step above uh, in the directory so for, uh, for example, it is over here, uh, like there, file.txt. Now how you will delete your file over here? You, you are working inside here. Now how you can come up to this uh, part? So that is also pretty straightforward. You just do os.remove dot dot slash. So you came one step back. And now you can do file.txt and you do shift enter and see it got deleted. So this is uh, these are the few ways you can delete. I'll show you some other uh, some other ways you, how you can do it, like by passing the absolute path. For example, if you have a file in anywhere, let's assume that I have a file in my desktop, maybe a file called as uh student dot csv have i used that file before i think i have over here but that is fine so created a file called a student dot csv now how i will delete this file over uh, from here i am working somewhere inside here 
I have to delete a file which is somewhere relocated somewhere else. Now how I can delete that? So for that I have to pass the absolute path. So if I do remove, let me get some lines for you. So if I do os dot remove, now I have to know which path this file is in. So it's in C users will be desktop. So if I type it over here. Generally, you have to change your forward, I mean, backward slash to forward slash. So you have to type this and you have to type student dot CSV. Okay. And now, if you press shift enter, this gets deleted. I think pretty straightforward. Now, there why we are passing why we are using backward slash instead of i mean why we are using forward slash instead of backward slash uh there's like a string technique but i will i want to show that also to you so i have another file maybe school dot excel excel x maybe this is the file okay let's let's assume this is the file over here so uh, for example if we don't give this what will happen so generally I'll, I'll, I'll show you first what happens then i'll explain why it happens so if i do os dot remove and if i give this path okay so and if i give schol school dot xls if i uh, do shift and enter okay what it is saying syntax error unicode error and some error unicode error okay it's a it's a encoding issue so the issue is slash u slash j slash b i hope you know about the escape sequences that are present so these are considered being escape sequences like special characters so that's the issue it's that's the reason it's giving issue for example slash u is causing the issue over here and how we can resolve this particular problem so if we are if you are facing issues with escape sequences with slashes just pass another slash so if you pass two slashes it becomes one slash okay so if i do shift and enter see it's get deleted but uh, for your reference i'll keep that error over here so that when if i share this Jupyter notebook to you you can take a look okay now uh, another way to pass this okay there is another way to do it and that is like a that is like a pretty sweet technique of doing it i came to know a very later like I, I came to know at a very later phase like how it is done for example i have a file called as bike.txt let's consider this okay maybe football.txt because now it's fifa is going on so we'll give football.txt okay so now how we can delete this uh, as always we know the path so this is like we are passing the absolute path and in passing the absolute path there are different different techniques i showed you one of them two of them okay i'll show you another one so for example you 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 have this path right uh c users will be desktop okay you have the file also football dot txt now if i execute this i am supposed supposed to get an uh, error so if i execute this i got an error as usual i'm supposed to get now how you can avoid this error i have shown you over here but even without touching much of the lines like much of the uh, string over here how you can do that just pass r over here and just do shift enter this file gets deleted so this is like the pretty sweet technique of deleting it like just pass r in front and you still end it will be passed as it is your string will be passed as it is so r i think it's r it stands for raw string so python will consider this as a raw string okay it won't use escape sequences and anything so now uh, this is these are all 
to remove a file if the file is present what happens if the file is not present in the first place so how we can deal with that so let's for example i have a file over here i mean i don't have a file over here i should not demonstrate that uh, let's say i i want to delete something which is not present maybe delete uh, maybe something maybe school dot txt if i do shift enter what it should say as expected it says file not found error okay so the system cannot file find the file specified school.txt so it is not able to find the file because the file is not there we have not created it so this is like uh, i just wanted to show you what happens if the file itself is not present over here anything else i think not i think that this is sufficient so anyways, I am going to uh, put this notebook file in my Git and I'm going to paste the link in the description. You can take a look whenever you want. And I don't worry, I, I'm not going to delete any errors. The errors will be there as it is. So I think uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope this video was informative and if you feel it was, just press that like button and uh, if you have any issues comment section is all yours and i have put some few more videos do check out on my channel uh, regarding the os module how you can copy files and i have also uh, put some uh, machine learning videos so do check them out even i have, even i have put a video on football prediction uh, currently we have the uh, fifa going on so definitely you can go and check that video also so uh, I think that's it for this video and I'm going to see you in an uh, awesome Python on, in an awesome programming video. And as always, thank you for watching.